I think by the time we heard about it, they may have, they, they didn't make a big announcement. It wasn't, I think they'd worked it out. Now, we're always writing down the hall, being <laughs> oppressed and being put in I our think whips. they went in and said to Jess, well, we got something to tell you, you know, and... Uh, Some news. Uh, to, to go back, she was pregnant when we did the, the pilot, and yeah. was wearing a lot of big robes and things, so she was pretty big. And uh, that, of course, was with uh, uh, Lucy Arnett. And um, so they were thrilled, but they didn't know what to do because uh, <coughs> there's no way you'd go through a whole season. The initial reaction was, we're off, you know, it's we're all through. over, it's finished. In those days, you couldn't even say pregnant on tell which sounds no. silly. Um, and they're in twin beds, of course. Yeah, so it was a big deal. And, uh, Seems like heavy with And child. I think it was Jess who said, well, we'll do it on the air, provided that CBS and the sponsor said okay, and they talked him into it. So, and of course, it turned out it was marvelous for us because we got all these... We brought in various religious leaders to... Yeah, they had people read the scripts, and, uh, and we, <coughs> you know, we could do... The show that she's pregnant and all those funny things and the, the you know eating the what was it pickles and ice cream or something pickles, yeah. and uh, and then went trying to tell Ricky that she's they're going to have a baby and she can't get his attention and so we uh, and then Vivian and and and, and Bill I mean uh, Ethel and Fred Ethel were and worried they wouldn't have any part of it and they were going to be the godparents and so was the sponsor speaking up at this time or did they just trust you to handle it. Or were they responsible for bringing in the clergyman? I don't know who's. Oh, that's all going on behind our backs. But honestly. they did have a rabbi and a priest and a, and a minister. I understand. Read the script. That was probably one of the selling things for the sponsor. Yeah. And they did. And you know, we're not writers who get suggestive. I mean, that you couldn't do it in those days anyway. And they never changed the word that I no. remember. Uh, we had to say she's in a family way, <laughs> but outside of that. Odd that neither of you were married at the time no. that you were writing no. about a married to, and a baby. Was that challenging? Well, we all got married and had babies later, so <laughs> it was a good idea. Well, I don't think I don't think we thought about it. You know, it was uh, we'd heard our friends talk about it and all the, the funny things that happened. You know, the women who get <coughs> the end, they can't get up out of the chair and all these stuff that we didn't. Well, Jesse had a child, so he had yeah, he more knowledge too. than we did. Um, <coughs> And we had people tell us that if they were pregnant at that time, they just screamed, you know, because it was so much that was familiar to them that they loved it. The show was arranged so that she could have time off uh, before the baby. And then, of course, they uh, worked it out so the baby would be born on the same night that her baby was born, the Lucy and Lucy, Lucy Ricardo. So... That episode where she tells Jesse she's pregnant, did it bother, did the way it ended up, the ending of that show is very sentimental. Was that, did you feel like that was too sentimental for, you know, it was such a real mm -hmm. moment to be broadcasting? I thought it was a great moment. Yeah. yeah oh, it was. That. It was lovely. Everybody in the audience had tears in their eyes because they really were having a baby. Everybody knew they wanted a baby. And so it was, we thought we liked it. What about Lucy goes to the hospital? With the birth of little Ricky. I love that scene. Now, Ricky, remember? They all uh -huh. jumped into action, got <laughs> practice, practice. I just, that was marvelous. Beautifully written, if I may say so. <laughs> it really was, and, and well acted, and well shot. It was, it was a lovely scene. It was really fun because it, to have the real baby be born on the same night as the <clears> show, and then it turned out to be a boy. In those days, you couldn't tell whether it was going to be a boy or a girl. And we just said, well, make it a boy because we had to do something. And uh, it was really exciting, and there were there were headlines in the paper. It was uh, amazing. Everybody was talking about it. Wasn't Eisenhower supposed to do something that day and got knocked off the front page? Brett, what was it? Was it's it? It's inaugural, I think. Something real big. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. It was January nineteenth, so it was like an inauguration. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 